Many online stores, including Amazon, sell different models of digital otoscopes that can be purchased for around $20 to $75. Depending on the model, it can come with its own monitor or a cable that can connect to a smartphone or a computer. Regardless of the model, they all come with small instruments which can be used to try and remove earwax at home under visual guidance. The model we are going to demonstrate with is one that can connect to a smartphone made by AnyKit. Digital otoscopes have a fixed focal length of about 2 to 3 centimeters, so if the camera is positioned too far away, the video image will go out of focus as you can see here. The diameter of the camera itself is about 4 millimeters with a viewing angle of 70 degrees and a depth of field of 20 to 30 millimeters. Make sure the camera is oriented so that you know which way is up. Before use, attach the adapter. Gently pull the ear backwards to straighten the ear canal. Slowly and gently insert the camera into the ear canal. All movement should be slow and gentle. If the image is off-center, tilt the camera angle to recenter. As you can see, this child has earwax debris present in the ear canal. In the distance, you can also see the eardrum. To remove earwax, the adapter is removed and an earwax removal tool is selected to attach to the handpiece. After inserting into the ear canal, there are a couple things to keep in mind. Removing earwax with a digital otoscope is moderately difficult due to the counterintuitive nature of hand movements with tool movements on the screen. If you are not very good at playing video games, earwax removal with a digital otoscope may not be easy or even possible for most individuals. To reiterate, movements you make with your hand will not correspond to what you see on the screen. To determine which movements correlate with left, right, up, and down on the screen, make tiny movements up and down, forwards and backwards. If necessary, rotate either the handpiece or the tool in order to orient the tooltip in such a way to make it as easy as possible to remove the earwax debris. Once you figure out what movements result in the corresponding action on the screen, slowly and gently move towards the earwax. The screen does not provide depth perception, so the best thing is to deliberately move past the earwax with the instrument first before attempting removal. With attempted removal, keep in mind that the ear canal skin is very sensitive, so only the most gentle, if any, pressure should be used to remove the earwax. Otherwise, it will be painful. Here, a different earwax removal tip is used. It is always best to use the appropriate tool that will most easily remove the earwax with the least effort and discomfort. Of course, earwax can be removed professionally under the microscope which provides both depth perception as well as movements that correlate with what one sees. Alternatively, ear flushing can easily be performed at home followed by a relook with the digital otoscope to make sure all the earwax has been removed. <laughs>